Okay. Uh, I'm kind of sick, so I don't know if my voice will be sounding like I'm sick, but yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to make a little like diary entry before I do this like 10 day meditation thing. Um, I didn't expect to be doing it because I was like number 18 on a wait list and so I just thought it wasn't going to happen. But then like two days before it, it would have was going to happen or it's going to happen. I got notified that I'm doing it. So I figure I should do it because I don't, I don't know. It was either that or I was going to try to get a job, but I'll just wait till after because, yeah. I mean, I don't know why I'm saying this is like practical information. That's, I don't want to talk about that stuff anyways. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to say like how I'm feeling before, record how I'm feeling before, how I, fe how I feel about certain things, because, I mean, on some level, like, there's, I mean, I'm struggling, like, <laughs> it's not so, <laughs> I don't know, it's so weird to say that, like, oh, yeah, because, I mean, I think a lot of people, like, almost everybody is in different ways, different capacities and everything. But still, when I say it, it's like, oh, yeah, I'm struggling. It's like, oh, God. Well, I feel like I have to make it funny or something. I don't know if it's like a vulnerable position, I guess. But it's also, like, commonplace, so I don't want to make it seem that big a deal. But to everybody, it's like, it's kind of heavy or whatever. I don't know. Um, I mean, things have been going good, too, so, like, you know, yeah, I just wanted to think about some stuff, which I don't even know what I'm, all that was all I had planned was just to record how I'm feeling, so, I mean, basically after college, I just... I mean, on one level, I could say I basically did nothing. And that makes me feel, like, bad, because I feel like I should be doing something. But most of the things that I could be doing are not really... There's not that many things that I want to be doing that I'm not. Mostly just stronger emotional connections and, like, personal connections to people, because I feel like I'm lacking that more than bef than I used to be in school when it's like everyone's everyone's hanging out with everybody naturally and now it's like you gotta set it up more everyone more people are living their own lives and everything and I'm, I was never one to like get stuff together to hang out so now that that's not handed to me it's like um, I have to kind of do, put my own work in to make connections with the people I want to make connections with. And I was having trouble figuring out who that was, and I was being, I mean, I think I was being kind of judgmental of ev of a lot of people. Not like, oh, you're, you're like an overall net negative person, but like, more like, we're like, I just felt like I wasn't compatible with a lot of people anymore in general. Which is... It's weird, it's partly true. It's weird because when you're in a group and you're all doing the same thing, it's really easy to be compatible because you are in the same thing together. Even as a broad of a thing at school, it still like kind of gives you some in inherent connection. But like also like, yeah, in high school, like, oh, oh, we all play the same video game. It's like, that's, that's pretty... In one sense, it's kind of superficial, because, like, I mean, it was great times, and I think it's pretty normal, and I'm glad about that and everything, but, like, sometimes it feels harder to, like, I would have to reestablish a new connection to keep being friends with people that I had only been friends with on that level. And I shouldn't reduce it to that, because it was, I tend to, I feel like I'm tending to, like, reduce things in my past to, like, very... Um, 
to superficial level like oh I was just a, I was just a straight up robot until senior year of high school and then I learned to like think for myself and do my own thing or something which I it probably isn't that black and white and I just kept telling myself that and like that's just become what what it is or how I like to feel about it cuz I cuz I like to push away like the past or like not push away like a oh yeah like to de detach my personality now from what it was in the past if I if I didn't like it then and I like it better now or now I don't maybe like it as much and so I liked it better before so some there's like always these disconnections between like past and present self and I think it it shouldn't be the case so much because it's pretty normal to like change and find yourself in different circumstances and like you change or like you're mostly the same but you're acting differently just because the circumstances are different or it's just like yeah it's a new it's like putting some variable some the same like reactant in a bunch of mixing it with a bunch of other reactants over time so like each time it's you see a different reaction even though it's the same ingredient although I think the ingredient probably changes a little bit too like your essence or whatever over time yeah so yeah personal connection stuff that's pretty important and I want to keep I mean if I'm gonna stay in my city I might as well keep pursuing or keep uh, trying to foster con connections. I kind of was like, felt like I was separating from everybody a little bit on purpose too, because then it was easier to leave because I thought I was going to leave the country, but now, but now I'll probably wait a lo bit longer or maybe forever. I don't know. I guess I sh I don't want to like, I think about the future way too much and like, I don't want to do that, but pretty fun and like after I'm done with college I'm like whoa I could do this I could do that whoa um yeah hmm I could talk about like anything that's insane I mean, I'm excited to see how the meditation stuff is going to go because I feel like on one level I'm like not ready at all, like, because I'm in a, I'm not in as good of a place as I've been in the past, and, well, but I'm also like alone all the time, so, since I'm alone all the time, I don't know if being silent is going to be that, it's, I don't know if it's going to make it harder because I feel like I'm lacking more conversation and stuff like that. Or it's just going to make it easier because I'm used to just, like, being alone all day. Cause, oh, so, like, it's like a 10-day silent meditation thing. Um, and then also the pace. Well, the thing I think is going to be really good about it but really hard is I'm not going to be able to distract myself. Because, like, honestly, I don't know. i definitely been watching, like, a lot of David Foster Wallace videos and this very much comes from that but also just I mean it's definitely I mean it's not like he's the only one that says this like every, a lot of people say this but just like how messed up I think our one of our main like predict one of the main problems of this technological very comfortable on this well not that's not true for a lot of people but very comfortable like on the security level for like a lot for still a lot of people um but not as like but also kind of an ignoring of, like, the soul or, like, the the direct experience. Like, you know, yeah, just distracting yourself with, like, media and screens all the time. Which is, like, what I've been doing a lot because, it's like, I'm alone the whole time, so it's, it's hard. Um, but it's weird because it feels good when I do sit with my thoughts or, like, I take a walk and, like, don't listen to any... Well, it's fine if I listen to music, but I think it's probably better usually if I don't listen to music because it's just less things to like t the music kind of takes me lets me escape into the music a bit which I don't want like I don't necessarily want to do um so yeah I just think it'll be insane because I won't be able to you're not allowed to bring anything like that obviously 
And so, I just don't know what that's like because every day, even though I, you know, it's a battle and like I try my best to like not, not look at screens like right when I get up or before I'm going to sleep or like a certain amount each day or like, yeah. Um, it's still like, that's the, the easy, it's not even like just the easiest thing to do is just always like, it's not even just necessarily scrolling like cause scrolling's, I don't know, pretty quick I'm like this is a waste, this is like what am I doing? What am I actually doing? Like what am I doing? Like what, <laughs> so you're just like scrolling, you're like what? I'm like not even reading most of the things. Like I'm just reading like little words and if anything pops, I'm just waiting for something to pop out like at me. It's like you want something really quick. It's really messed up how quick. Yeah, I don't know, that's all over the place too. Like you just think about like TikTok or whatever or any, how media is like getting, everything's getting faster and faster, like advertisements, everything has to get your attention quicker and quicker and because of that it's perpetuating it because people lose attention spans because they're used to like oh you either instantly get something like pretty funny like good meme or whatever or it's just like you know it's a lot of work like it is rather I'd rather just ignore it and like go to the next thing because you can go to the next thing really quick um it's just really easy for people to get in that cycle because it's just you have there's un confronted weight of your life right in front of you like either your direct experience or actual feelings about something that's like weighing you down and like you can you can sit with that and it's like probably some of it's like gonna be like bad to like sit with for a while you know theoretically the meditation thing is like you know you sit with it for a while and then it trans that's how you can transform it and the problem is, like, with it, the media or, like, technology is, like, you never transform it because you just, every time it gets too unbearable or it gets, it's not even like it's like, oh, God, I'm having an unbearable time. I need to, like, grab my phone to distract myself. It's just, like, well, for me, I don't have much to do all day, so I'm just, like, sitting there. Like, for a while, I'm sitting and not doing anything or petting my cat or, like, reading, which is okay, but reading's... I think reading's better because it's just more attention, like requires more long-term attention. You can't, you don't instantly get something interesting. You have to like read a while before you get any of the, before you even get it connected. So it's not just an instant connection and then it's done. It's like a longer process, which is like more normal to how life works and like talking to people. I don't know why I went to that, why I went over there. Um, I just, yeah, I, I mean, I think it's pretty messed up. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely, like, cynical about about it. Like, a good amount of people are, like, I'm not... It's weird because 